guys, welcome or welcome back. We're here with Ahsoka episode 3. I'm super excited. I love the first two episodes. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right into this. Let's go. Not bad, but not good. It's been a while. Reading is great. You're training the body. But you must also open your mind. Learning to wield the force takes a deeper commitment. Well, I discovered that according to Hu Yang, I'm the worst candidate to be a Jedi out of every Jedi he's ever known. You told her that? It's true. It Confidence matter. boost! I can't see. How am I supposed to fight? Force. I want you to see with more than just your eyes. Do you know where I am? Next to Hu Yang. Are you sure? Very funny. You'd be dead. Ready position. Feel my presence. Sense my intention. Anger and frustration are quick to give power, but they also unbalance you. It's gonna take some time. Chancellor Mothma, Senators. Hera, you look well. How's young Jason? Fine, Chancellor. In fact, he's on board. <gasps> Somewhere. Can we see him? <laughs> oh, I hope we get Double to see him. Come on. Not. Most likely. Forgive me, Madam Chancellor, but if we could just hear the General's report. Outliers. We have former Imperials working throughout every level of the New Republic government, and they have all taken an oath of loyalty. Long live the Empire doesn't sound like the kind of loyalty we're looking for. Yeah, exactly. But I believe their activity speaks to a larger operation involving Thrawn. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Isn't this just another attempt to gain New Republic resources to aid in what has ultimately been your personal quest to find Ezra Bridger? After all she's done for the Rebellion. You can't take that risk. If Thrawn is out there, you have to... back and waited to see you came out on top. You act like we have a choice. Don't we? I see no enemy. The Imperial fleet is scattered and broken. They have no centralized command. Unless Thrawn returns. Thrawn is not your typical Imperial officer. Yes. I know because I fought against him. If anyone can get the Empire back to some kind of strength and fighting power, it would be Thrawn, so... That went well. Hey, Mom! Mom! No! Is it true Aunt Sabine is gonna be a Jedi? Now where did you hear that? Chopper told me. Hey, he has still has green hair, but very, very dark. A Jedi? Yeah, I know you do, Jason. I was hoping that the urgency of our situation could expedite my training a bit. That's not how it works. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. I don't feel it. Not like you do. Force resides in all living things. That just says easier for someone with talent. Someone without Handle just has to work harder. Discipline it takes to master the ways of the force. Start small. She's frustrated. It's still a challenge for her. You both knew this wouldn't be easy. Standards which were proven over a millennia. And failed. You realize, historically, there have been very few Mandalorians who ever became a Jedi. I suppose you do come from a long line of non-traditional Jedi. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> she fits right in. Also, since editing the first two episodes, this is taking place shortly after Mandalorian Season 2 because she just arrested Morgan and stuff, so... She may not have met Luke at this point, so I don't know. I really want to see that first meeting, see how maybe even how she found out about Luke. Like we don't know 
that she has been in contact with Obi-Wan because he's been very secluded. So she may not even know about Luke and Leia at this point. So I, I just want that first meeting or just anything. <laughs> You win this round. This was me trying to get my room to clean itself, like just staring and just come on, clean yourself up. Unfortunately, I won't be joining you for this one, and neither will the fleet. What? The Senate committee wouldn't approve the mission. Why'd we drop out of hyperspace so far from the planet? Standard Jedi mission protocol when approaching an unknown situation. My last scan indicates the transport was in orbit on the far side of the planet. However, there also seems to be a second object, something much larger. As a the Eye of Scion. Out of hyperspace, this far away from the planet is what she was taught. So there's a little bit of teaching from the Order left, even though she's not really following the Jedi protocol. Some things are just ingrained. I see you got rid of my presets. I never needed them. So you say? Tail gun ready. Copy that. Hey, hold it steady! Remember, learn to anticipate. Now's not the time for a lesson! I'm just a little rusty. You yang anything yet? On the object? No. However, I have several thoughts on everything else yang, going on. Yang, not now. Sabine, tell me what you need. Move on my signal? Copy. Working together. Nice. Dive. This guy, Merok, I think. After watching and editing the episodes, I watched other reactions to the episodes. And it seems there's a theory out there by some people that this is actually Ezra. I don't think so. And I don't want it to be. Uh, I don't think because he and Thrawn are both wherever the Purgles brought them. So for him to get out of there and then just not come back to the ghost crew... Doesn't seem plausible, or I I don't know why he would do that. And also, he's with the people trying to get to Thrawn. If he was Ezra, he would know how to get there. So, and we already had his like dark side uh, struggle. So I don't know if they would do that again. The only thing I could explain if he really wasn't that he has amnesia or something, which is kind of like overdone. I feel. Not in Star Wars, but just... In... I don't know. I don't think so. I don't want it to be, so... Nice. Good work. Damn. Oh, that's a sight. Man, that's massive. You let them get this far. Stay clear. I shall deal with them. So Merrick speaks. I like Riang. Steady, steady. This is intolerable. You want it closer. Deflectors at ten percent. Just a moment. Scan complete. Oh, jeez. Oh, the trail of the parts. No. Leave him. I need you to run a full diagnostic. Congratulations. You almost got them. Oof. I have eyes on them. Work fast. I'm going out there. Out there. Out where? Just keep working. Oh, that does come in handy. <laughs> the 
Force and Space. Nice. Yeah, your master's awesome. Mandalorian season 3 and in the first episode or the second episode I can't remember when they were in hyperspace you could see an outline of them and I got so excited. Purgles are so fascinating to me. I love the design and obviously being able to travel in hyperspace like why? So cool. Down. I protest. I have a lot of work to do. Standard Jedi protocol. I suppose that's true. Shutting down. I love the detail. You could see the rain on the window. I love that. I don't think it made the reaction uh, last week, but I love Shen. Her design. Everything about her? I want to know more. Thank you. Are you alright? Haven't seen those creatures since the day Ezra disappeared. Anything interesting? Indeed. The good news is the enemy vessel is still under construction and not yet complete. A craft with these power levels and configuration would be capable of a hyperspace jump of astonishing speed and distance. Bien, could a ring like that make a jump to a neighboring galaxy? Yes, I believe it could. The Jedi Archives speak of intergalactic hyperspace lanes between galaxies, which used to follow the migration paths of star whales named Purgle. I didn't know he passed, that's so sad. Hunt them down. He's quite a presence. Wait, what? Whoa, that was so quick. Man, these episodes are too short. They didn't... Okay, half an hour, wow, okay. Getting one more step closer to... Maybe... Getting Ezra back, hopefully. Hopefully not at the last minute. Um... On one hand, I want Thrawn to come back. Just because it would make for great, for, for great enemy having him back and like, whew. at the same time I don't want that to happen because well he's a danger. But yeah, I wonder because now they know that the Purgles are able to use the pathways to another galaxy as well. I wonder if they try to somehow use them to get there. Even though, aside from Ezra, no one really, that we know of at least, can control them. At least he could to some extent. And since the Eye of Scion is still like in um, under construction, I don't know if we're gonna wait until that is complete and like tag along. Like piggyback ride or something. I don't know. We'll see. A lot of action, mostly just them. Also, Clo um, Ahsoka and uh, Jesus Sabine growing closer again. Maybe Ahsoka also realizing that she has to compromise and work with Sabine more than just be a teacher. 
our master. And also listen to what her is, because she's not the traditional Jedi. She can't use the Force to the same extent, if she could ever, even a little bit. Um, so there's such a difference. I would assume also with teaching her. But as Hu Yang pointed out, she was also not a traditional Padawan. Or her master definitely wasn't a traditional Jedi. Um, so Sabine so does fit right into that line of master and apprentice, that bloodline. All right. That's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next week for episode 4. Bye-bye.